Yo, it's time. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is TSG here, and welcome to Sonic Heroes for the PC. Now, wait, wait, hold on a minute. I know what you guys are thinking right now. TSG, I thought you said you were going to be doing Sonic Mania before Sonic Heroes. Thing is, I was. But then, Sega decided to drop some news on us during a live stream and said that the PC version of Sonic Mania is going to be delayed until August 29th. I'll have a screenshot up on the screen somewhere right now. What is, why? Is, <sighs> the other versions are already out by the time this video is up. So, I it, Let's just create the save file. So let me tell you how this is going to work exactly. So, as you all know, Sonic Heroes has four stories. Team Sonic, Team Dark, Team Rose, and Team Chaotix. Team Sonic is the medium level. Team Dark, the hard level. Team Rose is easy level. Team Chaotix is just Team Chaotix. So, this game can be very long to beat and very repetitive like you have to play through all the stages with all four teams no changes except with the difficulty level so here's how this is going to work team sonic is going to have you know like part one or two and parts and stuff like that but the other teams are going to be live streams so, once Team Sonic story is done, every Saturday will be a p live stream part of the uh, Team Chaotix, uh, not Team Chaotix, but the, the whole game's stories. So that'll give us about a month of Sonic Heroes. Then after that will give us enough time, hopefully, to get into Sonic Mania. Then after that, we can move on to Sonic Unleashed. So, without further ado, let's get started into Team Sonic's story. Yeah, let's party! And 
Tails lead to tornado to crash. Okay, um, we're back. Sorry, there's a bit of a cut. Um, so the one downside to uh, the PC version is that during the loading screens, uh, the game likes to freeze for a little bit, and then after that, it um, unfreezes. So hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. But yo, okay. So I like Sonic Heroes. A lot of people say that Sonic Heroes was the kind of downfall to Sega's, you know, history of a bad game. Like this was the start of it, then Shadow the Hedgehog, and then Sonic 06. Honestly, I don't think Sonic Heroes was the start of Sonic's Dark Age. Um, Sonic Heroes is like a big game. Uh, to me, it's just that it can be very repetitive and long. And like, some of the things are just like, eh. But I don't find it a bad game at all. I like Sonic Heroes so much. And it's actually one of the most beautiful games on the Nintendo GameCube. Well, it's, even though we're not playing on game, it has been like, it's like really colorful, really beautiful. And it's like, since we're playing on the PC version, we've got that nice 60 frames per second. It just looks so gorgeous. Like, look at it. Look at it. Some of the submerged sea rules move when you get close. This is also the first game in the series. Also, no, not the first game in the series, but this is also the game in the series to have 12 playable characters. This is like the biggest game, I think, in video game history. To have so many playable characters, like, right? You don't even, you don't even understand. So right now we're going on to this little uh, card section here where you can collect rings and do stuff like that. And bam, there we go. We got that nice time. Also, this game has a level up system, kind of like an RPG, where it's like if you level all the characters to uh, max status, you can take all the enemies out with. It because now enemies in this game are rocking health bars, so you are going to have to want to level up Sonic Tails and Knuckles for uh, you know the best attack, especially in later levels of the game. So right now we're on here with Seaside Hill. Yo, the stage was brought back in Generations, and you know I like Seaside Hill, but that what the heck, Tails? Why did you not go through that ring? Like, bruh, how dare you? But, um, I guess the question of the day can be, do you think Sonic Heroes is a good game, or do you think it's an okay game, or do you think it's a bad game? Let me know your reasons why, I would love to hear your opinions on Sonic Heroes. As again, I really like the game, um, like great visuals, nice gameplay, beautiful soundtrack. Um, some of the songs are like one of my favorite in the series, like just like the main thing, you know, Sonic Heroes, got the uh, Team Chaotix theme, I think on the team you know, team and uh can't wait till we get to that story <laughs> right guys right you're agreeing with me right anyway <laughs> um but yeah again team sonic is pretty much like medium difficulty like it's not easy but at the same time it's not hard at all it, it, it can be challenging at times especially final fortress okay can't stand that stage. Like use that cannon to go up. Oh, okay. I was gonna go with Sonic, but that's all right. That is all right indeed. As we're about to go on to this another like cart section here. Yeah. That's this music. I want to let you guys listen to the music for a second. So basically, this game decided to take it to go kind of go back to its roots, where it's like you have the playable characters, Sonic Tails, and Knuckles. Well, actually, Knuckles can't glide. He can kind of hover in the air, but he can't really fly. Tails can still fly even when he's by himself. Oh, okay. So we're about to use a new ability called the Team Blast. Uh, you fill up your team blast me there by collecting rings, defeating enemies, uh, getting points and stuff. And uh, pretty much it wipes off everything on screen and it gives you a nice level up. So, about to be Seaside Hill. Ah, there we go. Alright, 
let's see what rank we get. A rank for the win, let's go. Alright, so now we're going on to Ocean Palace. Yo, oh my gosh, I love Ocean Palace. It's such a beautiful stage. And the music is all like too. Um Yeah, all, every uh it's kinda like the classic games where you know you have two acts per stage. Um it's like act one, then you act two. Um gosh, yo, it's freaking hard to like because like you know, when you like really get the kind of basic game. Run, you defeat enemies, you beat the stage. Sonic's pretty much main goal. Team Sonic's pretty much main goal is defeating Dr. Eggman. That's all you know, they care about. Uh, when we get into the other stories, it kind of goes more death. Death for the... Because, like, you know, we got some new characters, some returning characters, like Shadow, dude? What? Yo, I, I, we all thought he was dead in SA2. Um, I guess I can probably just say this now. Sega decided to bring him back out of fans' outcry that he died in Sonic Adventure 2. And he's just like, no, he died. Gosh, Knuckles, chill, dude. Oh yeah, I forgot about these keys. So you're probably wondering, yo, how do we get the Chaos Emeralds in this game? Yo, you pretty much have to get the key in Act 2 of all the levels. And you gotta make sure you keep that key. And if you get hit, or, or like if you die, if you, or if you lose your rings, you will lose that key, and you will lose the opportunity to get that chaos emerald and go to the special stage. And it's also the reason why I'm playing the PC version of this game, because the PC version of the special stage, yo, you'll, you'll find out in the, the actually do the special stage. This is like why I wanted to play the PC of uh, Sonic Heroes. Uh, which is also, so, um, so in case you guys are confused, you know I am not playing with my keyboard. Even though the buttons say I'm playing with the keyboard, I am actually playing with a controller. Because let me tell you this right now, playing Sonic Heroes PC without a controller is absolute nightmare. Like, oh my gosh, I have like had the biggest rage quit on this game because I didn't have a controller. I was just like, oh my... I got a game over on Final Fortress, dude? And I was just like, oh my god. I was just like, this... No, I can't play this game. This, I need a controller. Yo, I, I figured it out, dude, and I was just like, yes! Got my controller, fam. Make sure you don't get hit. I'm trying to get that chaos in there. You gotta be, like, extremely careful. Like, if you're not careful, you that ring, that key, you won't be able to get that special stage, man. Ah, 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 okay, about to say, don't you dare take my key away from me, dude. Ooh, invincibility. Okay. Also, an I will say another problem with this game is the control. Sonic and his friends decided to freaking put freaking ice or lube under their shoes and, and like, especially the, the power characters. They all decided to put lotion or some kind of thing under their shoes and now they freaking control like, uh, shadow on ice. <laughs> like freaking, oh my gosh, no. not take my key away from I will. Mess you up, boy. You don't even understand. Okay, switch to Knuckles. Switch to Knuckles. I always love doing the air attack because it's so useful. You stay up in the air, and it's like you don't have to worry about getting hit or anything. It's like, bruh, it's so useful, dude. Okay. Oh, so, wait. No, go back. Get, t get Tails' is upgraded. I turned Sonic and Tails into Fireball and shoot at enemies. My gosh. So, also, this game also uh, has in game dialogue where it's like the characters will talk during stages, and it's actually they actually give nice little references to the adventure games as well Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, I believe. So, or maybe Sonic Adventure 1, because, uh, well, I don't want to spoil it for people who have not played this game. 
guy. But, um, yeah, you get to uh, Final Fortress, you will see. Oh, wait, I forgot. I can't do that in midair. Um, dun, 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 Oh my gosh, but guys, I apologize. I would have really, really loved to play Sonic Mania for you guys. You guys are just gonna have to wait until the 29th of this month for me to let's play Sonic Mania. See what happens? I got hit and I lost my key. So now I can't get the special stage. Whatever. I recommend getting the specials, the Chaos Emeralds though, with Team Rose because they have the shortest stages and they're the easiest to play, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Let's get the Chaos Emeralds with Team Rose. And yo, oh my gosh, we got this giant rock chasing us! Yo, I think that may be a reference to Sonic Adventure 2 when a gun truck was chasing us. That actually would have been a nice reference Sonic should have said. He's like, yo, this reminds me of the truck that chased me in San Francisco zone. Oh my gosh, yo, wait, it's too... Holy crap! Whoa! What the heck? Okay, well, oh my gosh, I'm falling! I'm gonna say this right now, Tails' voice is yes. god awful in this game. Like, bruh, sounds like a freaking little kid, oh wait. Alright, let's see what rank we get. We did lose our ranks. Please, A rank? Hmm, not rank. bad. Whatever, game. Oh yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right now. The CGI cutscenes in this game are like perfect in sinking. So you will uh, atrocious, uh, awful sinking. Or from SA1 and SA2, you will now hear their level moving along with their mouse. Also, I'm gonna show you the. Also, this is pretty much the easiest way to beat the boss. Just switch to knuckles and spam the attack button. There you go. Boss beat. Okay, I actually forgot to give my shout out. So, actually, shout out to Ninja Game 101 for the little animation, which is for some reason is not moving. I'll fix that in the next episode. So, um, and I didn't finish the rest of my outro because I forgot to give my shout out. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you want to see more Sonic Heroes, I'll upload the part immediately. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, again, I apologize. Mania, man, like, fam, I was so hyped for that, and then it just got delayed till the 29th, just like, I almost, like, legit broke something. <laughs> so, again, thank you all so much for watching, see y'all, have a fantastic day, peace, my hashtag TSG Nation, and take care.